Hello Pisces, welcome, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. And uh, this is D, and this is your May horoscope for 2021. And before we get into drawing the cards, let's just recap the, for the year. The theme for the year is the ancestor, listening to your your own universal beat, walking your own universal path, and walking through the, your, those, those uh, birch trees. Oh, sorry, got the hiccups all of a sudden. All right, and uh, January started off with the Knight of Stones, with the horse showing you what your path is, you know, for this year. Um, you know, he's asking you where do you need to push through, as well as what is holding you back. You know, and maybe that's you know goals related or um, you know personal related. Okay. Then in February, the stag showed up, and he, you know, he's all about justice. What is justly yours? What is, you know, maybe, you know, some justice being met? Could be, a, you know, some sort of uh, decision, right? But uh, also making sure that the energy is compliant for both good and evil, right? He's just not going to chop down a tree to chop down a tree. He's going to, you know, chop down a tree and plant one, okay? He's going to have that, he wears that shield of um, respect of the, of the world tree, all right? And, you know, it, it both shows not only the growth above, but the roots beneath, too, right? So, you know, it's kind of like that yin-yang energy, all right? Good evil, uh, male-female, masculine-feminine, all right? In March, you know, you took a leap of faith, like the wanderer, to walk into that wildwood tarot forest. And then in April, it was all about transitioning. All right, taking that leap of faith and transitioning into um, whatever it is that you were going through, you know, wherever your path is leading you, transitioning from one element to to another. You know, this could be a you know a movement for you. All right, movement in career, movement in relationship, uh, moving in a house. You know, and maybe in the same city, maybe a different state. Who knows? So let's see what, what May brings you, Pisces. And you might know better than I do because you're a Pisces, right? And Pisces are the most intuitive signs that, sign that's out there. Okay, so what is, I'm gonna use the same theme that I've used the last couple months, one card for the theme of the month, and then I'll draw four cards for the weeks and tie that into the theme. All right, so Pisces, the theme for you this month is two of bows and decision. You're coming out of that transition in April, going into May, and there's a decision that needs to, be, needs to be made. You're going from thinking to action, okay? A decision needs to be made in the month of May. What is, during that first week are you gonna have to decide? What is that gonna pertain to? And it's gonna pertain to a message, okay? Um, maybe something where you have to learn something. Maybe something where you need to be dedicated to. All right, that's what that link stands for. He's a fierce protector, and you know he's going to protect on on what you need to make that decision on. And it's going to be you know it's going to be an opportunity. All right, it's going to be a message that's going to come through to you on you know what kind of decision you're going to need to make in the month of May. In that second week. Going to be represented by the great bear okay making sure that any decision you make is not going to be judgmental on others it's also going to be um, the opportunity to not only like you're walking through the birch trees but also walking through the teeth Maybe you're going to be looked at judgmentally for the decision that you make. So make sure that in that second week, as you're going through this month, that you take into effect everybody that may be involved in this decision. Talk to the right people. Okay. This third week is going to rep be represented by the king of vessels. So you're going to have some kingly advice there as well. All right. This heron. And he's going to have some questions for you. And in the fourth week, what is going to be out there is the King of Bows and the Adder. So you've got some kingly aspects that are down here, all right? Um, 
some fire energy, some stability, some water energy. But the kings are going to be there for advice. The kings are going to be there for um, guidance, okay? And, you know, they're going to give you their advice for you to make the best decision possible. Okay, Pisces, so that's your theme of the month, that two of bows and decision. You're going to be making a decision this month that, uh, you know, two months ago in March, you took that leap of, that leap of faith. You know, you moved... Um, you took that leap of faith in the wildwood forest. Uh, you're moving forward and you're transitioning in the, in the month of April. And now you have a decision to make. Okay. And, you know, the decision that's out there is one that's grounded. All right. It's one of action. It's also one that it's, I don't want to say, I almost want to say universal as well. Okay. Because... Um, you're at the top of that mountain, right? And being at the top of that mountain has allowed you to plant yourself firmly, okay? In an aspect of um, being closer to the universe, all right? You, you've got those staves grounded firmly into the ground, and, and you know, this is action that's, that's going to be out there. So let's look at that first week in your decision making. You got the page of stones, all right? Now the, the lynx has is, is got some mystical uh, abilities to the land, all right? He's got a mystical link to the land, all right? And okay, so, you know, stones is all about materialism and security. And maybe this decision has to do with materialism security. Now the page is offering you uh, an opportunity and he's actually saying who is offering you this opportunity. And maybe that's the, what that decision is. Maybe somebody's offering you an opportunity this first, this first week that's getting you to think, okay? That's getting you, know, that's gonna lead to some sort of success down the road, all right? And the page is also asking you, how would you engage, how would things change if you engage with that thought process, right? If somebody's making you an opportunity and you have a decision you make, think things through. Is it going to benefit you, right? And this is all part of your transition plan. Okay. The second week, after you think, you know, you're looking at what that page has to offer you. Okay. And, you know, the page was looking straight at you. This great bear is looking straight at you, too. So here you have a decision to make. Somebody's making you an offer. Okay. An opportunity. Whatever that opportunity is. Some people's going to say it's, it's, it could be finances, security, stability, right? And then this great bear shuts up, okay? You may want to take this offer, okay? You may want to engage with, with this offer. But you need to think about the others that this decision affects. And when I say that, I say, you know, family members. Maybe you're committed to something within your family. You know, maybe uh, something's going on with your wife right or your significant other your husband okay maybe there's something going on with you you know the family itself that you know with this offer may seem very enticing you want to engage with it all right you may want to be judgmental about it all right you may want to say to yourself man this is such a great let's just do it all right but you have to think things through don't judge it you know like they say don't judge a book by its cover Okay, look at how it's going to affect everything, all right? Use that life lessons card of judgment to, to look at the overall picture, okay, during that second week. And then the third and fourth week, it just, you know, both these kings sitting out there. The king of vessels, that heron, um, you know, he's the guardian between life and death. You know, he's also... Um, He's also got a lot of psychic understanding, okay? Uh, he's the king of emotions, all right? So he's not going to be very emotional about this. Um, you may have to take on this kingly aspect and ask yourself, you know, where do I need to be more tolerant? You know, where do I need to look at things with this offer, all right? And, and not get, make this an emotional decision with my loved ones, all right? 
as much as I want to take it. I don't want to be judgmental with others. I want to look at all the aspects of it. And, you know, this king also asks you, you know, as you're going through that, who's depending on you for your support? You know, look at that. That's a major question when you're in this transition, when you're trying to make the decision. Who's depending on your support for this as you're going forward? And, and this king is looking back towards the page of stones and towards that great bear. So, you know, with that aspect as well being out there, you know, the king is telling you to consider the, you know, whatever offer is out there. Who's offering you the opportunity? How do things change if he engages? Let's not be judgmental about it. And then the king of bows, depending on which, which bow, this adder that you're looking at, okay, starts talking about where do you need to take charge? Okay, and he's, he's got that mystical power and healing. Where do you need to take charge in this action? All right, where is your enthusiasm leading you? And that's all going to be in that fourth week. Okay, so, you know, this, this really lines up with that, this, this two of bows and decision and just the simple fact that, you know, here you might, you, you may have an offer coming down the pipeline. You know, how do you engage with it? Do you like the offer? How's it going to affect everybody during that second week, including yourself, maybe your coworkers, maybe your family members, spouse? You know, take that judgment out of it right would be non-judgmental and use the advice of both these kings all right where do you need to be more tolerant and where do you need to take charge where's your enthusiasm leading you and as, as well as you know um you know who's depending on you for support you know you have to weigh all that in a, in a play when you're making the decision of you know career advancement or moving or whatever it is you're transitioning to from last month all right, Pisces, you know it better than I do because you're, you're the most psychic sign out there in the Zodiac. And, um, you know, you're able to, you know, figure these things out pretty, pretty good by looking into the waters. So hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel and share it with others. And Pisces, we'll talk to you in the month of June. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.